Hello and welcome to Chicagoland's Northern Fox River Valley. I'm your host, Brent Edwards, and today we'll be visiting the Frank Lloyd Wright Design and Built Muirhead Farmhouse Bed and Breakfast in Hampshire, Illinois. We'll find out some of the history, some of the unique stories, and look around this place for some wonderful treasures, trinkets, and whatever else we can find. So buckle up, and we'll be with you in just a moment. Hi, welcome back. We're with the owner of the Muirhead Farmhouse Bed and Breakfast, Mike Petersdorf, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how Frank Lloyd Wright came to design this house for his family. Mike? My wife's uh, grandparents, Robert and Elizabeth, were the ones that uh, commissioned the house from Frank Lloyd Wright in 1948. And uh, Sarah's grandfather was an innovative fellow, and he uh, uh, was very interested in design. He was a mechanical engineer by training, so he knew of Wright's work and liked it, had read about it in a couple of magazines, including Architectural Digest, and so uh, had sought out Wright to, uh, to build the house for them. So that, uh, that was quite the quest. They drove up to Taliesin, uh, met uh, Wright's secretary, Eugene Maslink, and that then led to a meeting with Wright the same day and, and a conversation, and they said, Go home, write us a letter, and let us know how you'd like to use the house, and we'll get started. And so that's how it all began. And when uh, Frank Lloyd Wright came out here, is it Frank Lloyd Wright, or is it okay if I call him Mr. Wright? Uh, either one, I guess. In the, in, the, in the Frank Lloyd Wright circles, it's either Frank Lloyd Wright or it's Mr. Wright, one of the two. We'll stick with Mr. Wright then. Uh, when Mr. Wright came out, was this the official, the first place that he was going to build on this site, or was there another place he was interested in? Uh, no, this actually, uh, he came here one time, uh, drove up in his red Lincoln Zephyr, came down the, uh, the roadway there, and uh, got out of his car and put some stakes in along the axis of the house here and said to Sarah's dad, who was the only one home at the time, that this is where the house is going to go and, and just let your folks know. And he got in his car and he drove back off. And that was pretty much it. And so this is where the house uh, was built, and this was his first choice. And, uh, and so there you have it. Uh, what are some of the unique facets or design uh, intricacies that, uh, he, that Frank Lloyd Wright designed within this beautiful home? Well, unlike many of his other Usonian homes, which are which are homes that were built uh, uh, in the late 30s and, and through the 40s and 50s, uh, this is a very long Usonian. It's a 3,200 square foot home. It's about 176 feet long from end to end, so it's a very long, uh, long house. And uh, architectural features, this was an active uh, uh, farm operation at the time that the house was designed and the time that it was built. And so you have a uh, very distinct uh, separation of the living areas, which is the living room, which we're standing in now, and the bedroom wing down this way. And then towards the other end of the house, about 60 feet away, you have the kitchen and the dining room and the workshop, which were basically extensions of the farm operation at the time. She was feeding farm hands, and they were doing farm business with some of the, the other farmers that were coming through. And so that was kind of a, the work end of the house, if you will. Okay. Uh, now, I've heard in the past that you may be able to see uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's ghost walking through. Is that correct? Ah, <laughs> I haven't seen the ghost yet. No, of course, uh, you know, when we start working on things, you can hear, uh, you kind of hear Sarah's grandfather's voice in the background a little bit. Yeah, so... Uh, Creepy. I see dead people. Okay, thanks for the ride. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Can you come back about uh, 10 or 15 minutes? Thanks, buddy. Okay, so now we're back in the backyard, or the back side of the Frank Lloyd Wright-designed Muirhead Farmhouse Bed and Breakfast, and I see that there's a nice courtyard or veranda. Would you call it a veranda? Patio, veranda, however you want to reverse it, sure. Okay. <laughs> what exactly do you use this for? Do you use it for corporate events? Do you use it for um, receptions, for dinner parties, and those kind of things? We do. We actually have had a couple of nice uh, social gatherings out here, dinner parties uh, for corporate gatherings for the county, a couple of other businesses that have wanted to have a nice uh, social reception out here. And so the patio uh, during the warm weather months is a nice place to sit. Uh, we can put additional tables and chairs out here, tents, pretty much whatever uh, whatever uh, accommodations are needed, we can we can take care of it. Uh, so it makes a nice outdoor space. It also feeds right off of the dining room, so there's an in-and-out uh, uh, ability. So, uh, And it's nice out here. It's nice and quiet. You've got the stream. Prairie You've grass, got, uh, uh, natural prairie grass around? Well, the surrounding, what uh, surrounds this house is, uh, 750, is 57, uh, 757 acres of uh, what is going to be tall grass prairie. So the county is in the process of turning that uh, back into tall grass prairie. They started with the 200 acres to the very far north of us here, and uh, they're also hopefully this year going to be building in some walking trails, so equestrian, walking, hiking, biking. Real? Now, Mike, you actually uh, mentioned some old barns here. Will we have an opportunity to take a look at some of those? Sure, yeah. We can walk through uh, to your heart's content. Uh, some of them have still had a lot of uh, storage of a lot of old equipment and old junk in them, but... Uh, but they're pretty interesting. Will we be able to see uh, the ghost of Frank Lloyd Wright in one of those? Uh, probably not. No, uh, ghosts of maybe some of the old.
concludes the wonderful online virtual tour of the Frank Lloyd Wright design and built Muirhead Farmhouse Bed and Breakfast out here in Hampshire, Illinois. Mike, I want to thank you so much for having us out here for this tour. Thank you. How can uh, guests come out and, uh, and find you? Uh, you can get more information about us uh, uh, on our website, which is www.muirheadfarmhouse.com, and that's spelled M-U-I-R-H-E-A-D, farmhouse.com, or you can call us direct at 847-464-5224. Well, on behalf of the Elgin Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, I want to thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next time.